Boom. Good morning, Bear family. And something we've been talking about for the last little while, the death of the Swift system. We seem to see some low blows and punches, which was to be expected coming from some of the foreign ministers of the EU. So as we're scrolling around on Zero Hedge today, we drop in and we see that in a stunning vote of no confidence over the US monopoly in the global payment system known as the SWIFT system, something which we, has re we have repeatedly mentioned is likely to be replaced by uh, technology that's significantly more beneficial for everyone involved, such as Bitcoin or just blockchain in general, I think we'll see a transfer over there. But what we see coming from the EU is that they're not very happy with Donald Trump's sanctions that are being put in, and we do know for a fact that the SWIFT system can actually be controlled. So for writing for the German Daily Hansenblatt, um, Maas said, Heiko Maas, which is the German foreign minister, said, Europe should not allow the U.S. to act over our heads at our expense, and for this reason it is essential that we strengthen the European autonomy by establishing payment channels that are independent of the U.S. SWIFT system. Creating a European monetary fund and building up independent SWIFT systems is what we aim to do. Mass said that it was vital for the Europeans to stick with the Iran deal. And this also says that every day the agreement continues to exist, it's better than the highly explosive crisis that otherwise threatens the Middle East. This unspoken message was even clearer that Europe no longer wants to be a vassal of the United States monopoly over global payments and will now make steps to aggressively pursue its own SWIFT system. Now this is the really interesting thing. The SWIFT system has been around for quite a long time. For those of you that hadn't used it or are not very familiar with it, is the way that you send global wild transfers between countries. And due to that, it often will take minimum of three days. Again, that's three days minimum. That's blockchain blows that out of the water. And will on average cost you at least 32 hundreds of dollars, depending on all the paperwork, proofs of funds, etc., lawyer work that it takes to actually create those transfers. Now, I've always stipulated that Bitcoin was a much better replacement for SWIFT than it was for the Visa systems. And as a matter of fact, it's a significantly bigger global market. Why anyone cares about transaction speeds in the seconds when quadrillions of dollars are moving through the SWIFT system that take days, this is really where we should be looking at attacking because this is where the majority of the... I, the friction is held in the economic system. So as we go further into this article here, it says the, um, a Belgian-based global pay, payment network is going to look at offering uh, financial institutions worldwide abilities to send and receive information about their financial transactions. And this systems management claims that SWIFT is actually politically neutral and independent, although we have previously seen that they have blocked transfers. In one case in 2012, uh, the U.S. sanctions against various countries, most noticeably in Iran, the Danish newspaper wrote that U.S. authorities authorities managed to actually seize money being transferred from a Danish businessman to a German bank for a batch of U.S. sanctioned Cuban cigars. The transaction was made in U.S. dollars which allowed Washington to then block it. And this type of financial crusading is really what's dangerous. And we've seen it in many other countries before. One of the first when Bitcoin went from zero to ninety dollars was when the Cyprus banking uh, situation occurred and people realized that there was a run for their money uh, and where Cyprus uh, citizens lost the majority of their global spending to those banks. Um, we saw it happen. We've seen it currently happening in Venezuela, where inflation runs rampant, and you, it's hard to really transfer money in and or out because of the control over these systems. We've seen it in Greece again, another bank runs in India, where they. Uh, uh, said some of the highest notes are no longer valuable or accepted and we saw bank lines with people's life savings trying to be deposited into the bank and these are all financial control systems that really put us the global community the citizens the people that are just trying to live and enjoy their lives we're the ones that get hurt the most by a lot of this and I think Bitcoin is such a good replacement for SWIFT, not Visa, not MasterCard, again, because that's pennies. Um, Roger Veer's assertion that uh, people need to shop more is really one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. What we need to do, Roger, or when I'm sorry that you have become the Captain Hook sometimes, but you say just such ridiculous things that really, it, it's, it's called for. <laughs> So the point here is we actually need a society that's more focused on producing and saving instead of spending, which is what a lot of these inflationary ideas have hit the point of, of no return. A lot of banks will now charge you negative interest rate for keeping your money, so you're forced to go out and spend it and buy in other investments, etc. And that's not really that beneficial. It's not positive, and for anyone that's trying to do something that involves uh, thinking and, and, and so storing and saving, you know, it's, it's really 
really hurts and attacks the businesses that are, are focused on producing and saving, which is what we were for many, many years, uh, for almost our entire generation before we were focused on producing good products and saving from there because we knew that to some degree there, there was scarcity. Now, scarcity is becoming less and less noticeable every day as our global means of transferring not not money but um, food or resources has become significantly easier and I think as energy is re um, becomes cheaper to produce through diff uh, renewable energies we're going to see a big uh, a big release in that as well where people will be focused more on just saving because it, there's at a certain point where you don't need much you don't need much more like what, what are you just going to go buy new sunglasses every day? No, it doesn't make any sense to just consume, consume, consume. So I don't really care about the visa or the, or the, or the transaction speeds. I'm looking to replace the SWIFT system, and I do believe Bitcoin does the best job at that. So regardless of whatever the, the EU does here, I think that punch towards the SWIFT system will really give Bitcoin another big run. And not in terms of, of value, but just in terms of people understanding why it's valuable, which is where value comes from. It is a perception based off what we think something can be used for. right? So the value perception of money versus water when you're stuck in the desert in a drought drastically changes. You're more likely to choose the water than the millions of dollars that might not do anything for you in the event that you have no access to spend or use those dollars for the, the critical necessity of survival. So intrinsic value doesn't exist. The gold bugs always make that argument and they seem to be blindly ignorant of the fact that intrinsic value doesn't exist. Without our perception of what value is, there is no intrinsic value. Gold does not have intrinsic value. Nothing has intrinsic value other than what we relate to it, to our survival, and then from further on there, our ability to produce and save as a global society. So. Just in the last sentiments here, it says Mass has also called for the creation of a balanced partnership in which the U.S. and Europeans fill the gaps. Where the U.S. withdrawal um, from the world, Europe must create this counterweight in, uh, for when the U.S. crosses red lines. And it's not the SWIFT system has been massively out of date for a long time. So I don't think any of this was unwarranted and I do believe that these blows to the SWIFT system regardless of what the EU tries to do will only strengthen the blockchain and the decentralization of money and the financial system as we move forward because as we've seen regardless of who is making the rules they seem to become tyrannical those who seek the rule to power or control of regulations are often often those people that wish to use rule and regulation to their benefit and that is a negative place it actually uh, uh, it, just like attracts people that do horrible things to some degree because they're focused on power and rule or regulation, which essentially means forcing your will over that of someone else's. And I'm not a big fan of this. Anyways, this is Tia with the Arcane Bear. Leave your thoughts and your comments down below. I will leave that link to Zero Hedge, but I do believe that the economic financial systems cracks are starting to show in the foundation very noticeably. And these are the days and the times when our value of money needs to become uh, more aware of why things are wrong, and then that way it's a lot easier to understand why um, solutions like Bitcoin and blockchain provide everybody a more stable means of communication in value known as money. Give us those thumbs up if you like this content. Again, share it with friends, family. If you're new to the Arcane Bear, we welcome to the eclectic world uh, and of ever-changing content that we produce here. Uh, Whatever that might be, this is Deal with the Arcane Bear. We're signing out. We'll see you guys on the other side. Thank you.